See, for most people, they want to get fit. 2025 is around the corner and people are going to make their New Year's resolution uh, again. The same old cycle uh, again. Just for them to only be on it for two weeks and quit. Not even staying consistent. So all that stuff they was talking about was some straight nonsense. Here's the brutal truth of why most people fail at fitness. They realize this shit is hard. It's hard. Who says changing your life was easy? Because pretty much that's what you're doing. You're changing your life. You're changing your habits. You're changing your lifestyle. Once you get into that world, you don't know what you're doing. You're lost. Don't know what the best exercises is. What's the best diet? Ultimately, you ain't got a lot of information. You don't really know. All you know is, you know what? I want to lose weight. I want to get in shape for the summer. You go in there and you do a treadmill workout for probably 10 to 30 minutes and call that a whole workout. Or, you know what I'm saying, you might go a step further. You do the treadmill work and you might do some machine work, but you're not training to max effort. You're not really putting in the effort. You start to get the reps in, you realize how hard it is, how painful it is, and you walk out that gym, you might have a sore feeling. A lot of people don't like that sore feeling. But then you do that for about two days, three days, a week, maybe a couple weeks strong. But then you start to get inconsistent. Damn. Ultimately, bro, when you started this journey, bro, you were just you didn't believe that this was going to work. You know what I'm saying? You don't believe in yourself. You don't think you're capable of getting fit. You don't even know. You didn't even invest the time to really study how to really truly get in shape. Ultimately, when it comes down to it. It's consistency, effort, you changing your life, being fully self-aware of what you do and how you do it, what you put in your body. Because obviously, I open that refrigerator right now, bro. You got a whole case of pop down there with all the good eats. You got all this good ass food. You stuff in your face with all these calories still. Oh, but only eat once a day. I ain't trying to hear it. You ain't holding yourself accountable. Getting fit is a lifestyle, a lifestyle that you have to truly commit to. If you still talking that garbage about, oh, you know what I'm saying? 2025 is my year, bro. What happened to 2024? What happened to 2023? What happened to all these previous years? You talking about you're going to be on your arc. I'm on my villain arc. I'm on this and that and the third, but yet you still stuck in square one. You didn't have no belief. The biggest thing is you ain't got no belief. You ain't got no belief in yourself already. You in a position where, you know what I'm saying, you don't think this shit gonna work for real. You don't think that you're gonna see results or anything like that. So you you casting, you know what I'm saying? You you too quick with it. You thinking that, you know, you busted in the gym for two days, two weeks or something like that. You're supposed to see results off the rip. It takes months to even years to see any significant results. You have to commit yourself to at least, at least 90 days, three months to fully see actual changes. Drastic changes, 90 days. Motherfuckers can't even last that long. You only last a month. Not holding yourself accountable, not even believing in the goals you set for yourself. That's the biggest thing. It's a lifestyle change at the end of the day. You have to truly change what you do. But it's every day. It's a lifestyle now. Nobody knows that fitness is a lifestyle, nothing temporary. But yet you come at it with a temporary mindset that, oh, summer's around the corner. All I got to do is get in shape for the summer. And then you, the summer comes and you stop working out. You stop working out? Are you nuts? Are you nuts to sit here? You continuously going. You making all the results and then you stop. So you ain't giving yourself a reason to stay in shape. And next thing you know, you built that dad body. Again. Damn it. All that work you just put in, bro. And it goes out the window. Because you stop. You put the fucking foot off the gas. Just because the summer is here, you know, you made your results and you stop. It's a lifestyle, bro. No wonder why motherfuckers relapse when they get in shape. This lifestyle is hard, bro. 
You can't overeat. You have to really pay attention to calories in, calories out. Motherfuckers don't even want to do that. I don't feel like counting calories, do it. looks like you don't want to get in shape, huh? No wonder why you're still fat as fuck on a plateau. Wondering why that scale is going up and down because you're not tracking the damn calories. That is the number one thing to lose weight. It's holding yourself accountable. It's literally math. But motherfuckers don't want to count calories. You don't want to track calories, bro. What is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, let me chill, bro. But for real, all you got to do is track your calories and treat your calories like currency. Instead of eating a Reese's that's over 200, I think it what, 400 calories or something like that for two cups? Over 400 calories for two cups? But yeah, you can eat 400 calories worth of broccoli that's way more filling and more healthier for you. Because you eat those two cups, next thing you know, you're still hungry. You just add in more and more calories. Next thing you know, you're eating 3,000 calories without realizing. 4,000 calories without realizing. Instead of just sticking to the under the 2,000 range. That 2,000 to 2,500 and you stick it with that. And within those calories is quality calories. You're not saying you're getting it from liquids like pop, juices and all that because it counts, bro. It all counts, but you don't want to count the liquid calories, huh? You think it doesn't matter when it truly does. It, it's the same as eating solids, and when it comes down to eating foods, the food is just straight up garbage, empty calories, because all it is is filled with all this calories with no nutrients. You ain't getting no protein or nothing. It's just stuff with hella carbs, but no nutrients. You just overeating on those carbs, bro. But carbs is good for you. But overeating on the carbs, that's your problem. Overeating in general is your problem. You not keeping track of yourself is the true problem. You not believing in yourself. You're not spending the time and the effort. You're not planning out yourself. You're not putting yourself first. You're still interacting with losers. Motherfuckers that don't even care about you. That's draining you. Activities like, you know what I'm saying? Doing drugs, drinking, all that other shit just to cope with life. That's the main thing that's blinding you. That's holding you back from success. So ask yourself, what the fuck are you going to do? Do you truly want to get fit? Do you really want to get fit? If you really want to get fit, you, you got to put your foot down. You got to put yourself first. Understand what your flaws is. Why do you keep failing? Why are you failing? Why are you continuously failing? Because you're not tracking yourself, holding yourself accountable. You don't even believe in this shit. You're still interacting with losers or activities that's holding you back. Your self-doubt is holding you back. It's a lot of things, but ultimately it's a lifestyle that you just have to adapt to. And even once you adapt to it, you have to continuously challenge yourself. You're still half-assing it. You're still not going all in. You're not pushing yourself. So no wonder why you're not seeing the results. You're not giving yourself a reason why you should have that body. But you're giving yourself the reason why you should be built like a damn circle, though giving yourself a reason why you shouldn't look the best you should look you still look average below average motherfuckers is laughing at you for real you laughing at your damn self crazy but once you start to respect yourself because ultimately you don't respect yourself you let yourself go and rot and it's that stupid ass anxiety and depression that's holding your ass back bro but shut the fuck up shut the fuck up you're going to look in that mirror and tell yourself, shut the fuck up and just do that thing. Just do that thing, bro. And continuously do that thing until you finally win. And that's what's going to keep you motivated, engaged, hungry, because motivation ain't shit. But discipline is. You got to stay disciplined, bro. You ain't disciplined enough. You still relying on motivation, bro. Motivation comes with you being disciplined long enough to finally see results. That's what's going to keep you energized. But you still stuck in square one, bro, on the same activities that kept you there in the first place. That got you miserable in the first place. You still interacting with people that's keep you miserable in the first place. Damn. The brutal truth is you have to X out all the old shit that you keep continuously doing and introduce the new shit. I'm not saying to cut off every fucking thing and not live a life. 
But sometimes, bro, you got to be fully self-aware of who you are, respect yourself, put yourself first, and just under, just you got to understand what you need to do. If you really want to get fit, you have to understand it's a lifestyle. There's nothing temporary about it. And you have to ultimately treat your calories like currency instead of an afterthought. Like it doesn't matter. Because ultimately, if you ain't counting it, you ain't tracking it, it sounds like you're not going to be in your best potential. I'm just saying. You're not going to be in your best potential. You're still going to look fat as fuck or skinny as hell. It's your choice what you found to do. But once you realize it's me versus me, and I'm finna win, you're going to win. You just got you going to win, bro. But you got to be consistent, bro, ultimately. That's how you win in this game called life and fitness, bro. Straight up.